Next question I'm asked often, how would this sales tax impact lower income residents, especially those who are unemployed right now during the pandemic? So the first thing I wanna point out is that the sales tax is not applied to the most essential household budgets, which are groceries, prescription drugs, utilities, or rent. So the most basic essentials for every family is not taxed by the sales tax. The other point on that is that the sales tax is not only paid for by our residents. In fact, uh, we have data that shows that at least a quarter of our sales tax is paid for by people who come here to work during the day, as well as people who visit here. So the sales tax is paid by non-Oxnard residents as well. Now, this is really important, this slide here, because I, I believe this is counterintuitive, but it is really true. And that is that it's actually the least wealthy in our community that needs our services their most. And our services cannot be provided without proper revenue. So I've uh, reported to you before that unfortunately, culture and community services have taken the lion's share of the cuts over the last five years, whether it's in library services, city core programs, youth and senior programs, uh, or uh, having to close the art museum. They've, they've taken over $5 million in reductions in the last five years. But the thing is this, our low income families cannot afford to pay for after school programs. They cannot afford to pay for um, expensive summer camps. They cannot afford to pay for expensive tutoring services. Um, and our seniors, many of our seniors cannot afford to live in, in fancy or private expensive senior facilities. So they need these services and they are actually harmed by when we don't have the revenue to provide these services. So this sales tax is, a, is an actually a, the least painful way for all of us to pool the revenue so that we can provide these services for the people who need them most in our community. And I know that's counterintuitive, but it's a fact. It's the least wealthy are harmed the most when these services are cut, not the people who can afford um, the cuts the most.